I just played the demo for a game called Toyshire, which is completely legally distinct and not reminiscent of any Pixar properties at all. In all seriousness, it is a tower defense game with a charming Toy Story inspired aesthetic. I think this style is lovely and nostalgic and gets the game a lot of points before you even get to play it. It is however held down by the fact that this Andy replacement is British. Let's pick up where we left off! Toy Shire is simple in its premise as it's literally just a kid playing a game with his army men pieces, pushing back waves of various robot enemies. The game is played on various surfaces around the house, such as his desk and bed. The first stage keeps things simple by giving you access to simple guard towers and basic infantry troops. To build and summon these units, you need stars. You start each stage with a set amount of stars and gain more as you defeat enemy units. As you progress through the demo, you unlock new troops and structures to make use of. It gives you a fun bit of variety to work with pretty quickly, though I found the most effective strategy to be putting your resources into upgrading your structures. With that said, this game isn't mindless, even at the early stages shown in the demo. I actually failed by just picking a bad starting loadout on one of the stages, which I thought was interesting, and actually a good sign for the people that would really get into this type of game. Keeping the player engaged is always important. You do have a speed option to help get you to the action quicker if you need it, and I'm sure it'll be even more useful deeper into the game. The final stage does have a mini boss which added a layer of creative thinking and definitely made my structure only strategy go straight out the window. I feel like the ending might be implying there's something more to this than just a kid playing with his toys and using his imagination, but I'm not completely sure. I just feel like they treat this scene of him breaking one of the enemy toys almost as if it's him taking his first life. They just linger on the shot a little too long for me and it just gave me a weird vibe. Anyway, that was my experience with the Toy Shire demo. If this game caught your eye, be sure to wishlist it on Steam. I'll put a link to the page in the description. It is set for release during the second quarter of the year, so you won't have to wait much longer. That's all for today's demo, and I'll see you in the next one.